We're here in Port-au-Prince and uh, there's been a lot of destruction in this area. One of the biggest things that we're seeing is uh, uh, blocks or cinder blocks have fallen on top of people and it's cut them uh, completely open. We're seeing uh, cuts as much as four to six inches wide uh, on knees, legs, uh, arms and shoulders, a lot of burns. Um, uh, one girl was stuck underneath the car and had most of her uh, uh, side of her face uh, burned off. And we're doing a lot of wound care, a lot of infections. We're about uh, nine, ten days out from uh, you know, when the earthquake happened. And so there's a lot of uh, infections that we're trying to treat, both by cleaning the wounds out and also giving them the antibiotics that we brought. Uh, it would take me years to see this many cuts in a, in a regular practice in the emergency department uh, in Utah. Uh, today we went to uh, Sacre Coeur Hospital uh, here in Port-au-Prince. Uh, yeah, they're overwhelmed. Uh, we did yeah, amputations, uh, fasciotomies. Uh, there's a lot of wounds uh, need treating. So I helped uh, with a lot of patients that had already had surgery but needed their surgical wounds uh, cleaned out. There's not good sterile uh, rooms. Uh, there's not sterile. Ga there's no sterile gowns right now. Uh, anesthesia is very rudimentary. There's not equipment to plate femur fractures or uh, put put rods in people's femurs. Uh, there's 12 people sitting on the ground there. Two uh, boys adopted from Haiti uh, five years ago, and I'm here to just try to help. 